Hello and welcome. Here is the flying team and we show you now how you configure your AI API key and then you can start generating design listings just based on your design. All you need to do is go to openai.com and then you go here to products and then you go here to API login. Now you're here at this window and here you can now log in if you have already an OpenAI account or you create a new one. And when you have done this, we continue with the next step. After the successful login, you are here at this page and here it is very important to take API because we need an API key. I know ChatGPT is very famous, but it is not relevant in this case. We click here on API and then you are here in your menu and then it is just a few clicks to your API keys. You go here to API keys in the menu and then you can click here on create new secret key and then you name it for example flying merge key and then you create a new secret key. Here you can copy this one. This should be hidden. No one should see that only you. Of course, I will also delete this key here after this video and then you copy and then you can go back to the Amazon merge on demand menu and then you can enter your key here and then you can click on save and then you will have here a success message that your key is now successfully configured. Now we have one more step to do because currently you're just on a free key and the AI model we use is not allowed by a free key. AI vision is only for pay keys. I also show you this. I already uploaded this design here and then I just click on generate and then you will get here an error message that an error occurred while generating and this is because of the free key. And how you can fill now your credits and then successfully generate, I show you in the last step. I'm back here in the OpenAI menu on the usage tab and this is how it looks for you when you're on the free key. You can also click here on increase a limit and then you can see here a lot of models and a lot of extra information but this is not important for you. You just have to know how the tier system works and this is also why I opened this page here. This is also on the side of OpenAI and you can see here tier one is reached when you pay $5 and tier two is reached when you pay for example $50 plus seven days since first successful payment. You can start with tier one so at least pay $5 so you can use the AI vision model we use in the Chrome extension. What we personally recommend is to pay at least $50. So after seven days you are in tier two. I know this sounds a lot, but the reason for that is you see here the rate limits and you don't have to know exactly what these numbers mean. All you have to understand is that when I click here on tier two, and here back on tier one and tier two that you see here that the rate limits are 10 to 15 times higher when you are in tier two to tier one. So this is why we recommend to pay at least $50. I know this sounds also a lot, but with these $50, you probably generate thousands of listings based on how many languages, for example, you want to generate and of course also which text fields. But this, these $50 are invested very well because this will take a long, long time till you need this credits at all. So you can decide what you want to pay when you go to tier one or better said you are in tier one at the beginning. It is possible that you still hit the rate limit but after seven days you are in tier two and then it should be no problem at all to generate as much listings as you want. And yeah, this is also what we do. We fill now our OpenAI credits and then we generate again.
When you have filled your credits, it should look similar to this. And remember, you are always tier one at the beginning and with $50, you are off the one week tier two. And of course, also all your API keys automatically upgrade when you have the credits. Now we go back to Amazon Merge On Demand. I uploaded here an image. Of course, you can also select here your marketplaces and based on the selected marketplaces, you see here the available languages. And of course, you have here then the text fields you can yeah, choose to generate. Of course, you can also give here extra instructions like a topic, for example, if it is an abstract design and it is not 100% clear, then you can define here your main keyword. And of course, also when you have custom instructions, I would use this when you already have generated some designs, you see how the listing works and then you see, okay, this should be a little bit different. Then you can add here your custom instructions. And when this is done, and of course, also you have now the upgraded key, you can simply click on generate and of course, we generate a lot of text fields and especially a lot of languages. So it, it takes a few seconds. You see here the progress bar. And when this is finished, you will see here that the listing is also finished just based on the design here. So ready to rock first grade. Of course, you can also just generate your main language and then use own translation. This is completely up to you. And then the merge listing is successfully generated. And now you see here your design title, your brand, your bullet points description we didn't generate. And also the same for German, for French, for Italian, for Spanish and also Japanese. And I'm honest, I don't understand much here. So maybe next time I don't even let it generate. And of course you can also rework it, but this is then just a listing based on your design. And now you can write it with the flying merge extensions. And of course, a lot of extra developments are coming.